Thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. There are many reasons why people, including myself, end up choosing to buy a Tesla when considering an electric vehicle. For some people, it could be the fast performance. For others, it may be the advanced driver assistance system, also known as autopilot. Or it could be the 300 plus and 400 plus miles of range that their vehicles offer, which other car companies are finding difficult to beat. But there's one unique advantage Tesla had that really made me comfortable in choosing it as my first electric vehicle. But now that is all changing. See, in the beginning, Tesla as a company was a pretty big risk. Not many startup companies in the automotive space live long enough to become profitable and successful against the big legacy automakers that have been around for decades and even centuries. But Tesla had a mission and they believed in that mission so much that they did the unthinkable and built their electric vehicle company a bit backwards. You see, before Tesla started selling the meaningful amount of cars that they are selling today, they chose to invest heavily upfront in their charging infrastructure, then worry about ramping vehicle sales later. Now, nine years ago, after constructing in secret, Tesla unveiled its highly anticipated supercharger network. Now, these first six supercharger stations were placed in California, Nevada, and Arizona, and they finally allowed Tesla's flagship premium sedan, the Model S, to travel long distances thanks to the ultra-fast charging that the new superchargers provided. Now, fast forward to today, Tesla now has over 25,000 supercharger stalls, which is the largest fast charging network in the world. They're placed alongside major highways and are close enough together so that anyone can travel pretty much anywhere in the country in a Tesla just by charging at superchargers along the way. A Tesla superchargers, like their name suggests, are special compared to slower level two public EV chargers that you may see around your city. The latest versions of superchargers can charge at rates up to 250 kilowatts and add up to 200 miles of range in just 15 minutes of charging for some Tesla vehicles. And Elon Musk recently announced that Tesla will be upgrading superchargers to 300 kilowatts, which would have an even faster peak charging rate. Now this nationwide fast charging network of superchargers was the deciding factor for me when buying my Model 3 in 2018. I knew that all the range in the world would not matter if the electric car I was getting didn't have access to fast charging stations that would allow me to travel long distances without having to wait hours for the car to charge at each stop. Now, if you've seen any of my previous Tesla road trip videos, you'll know that if you're going to road trip in an electric vehicle, then a Tesla provides the most convenient experience for that. Now, my Tesla automatically tells me where I need to charge along my route, and it tells me the estimated time to charge at each stop, which is really accurate. And each stop I've stopped to supercharge on a trip, I've never had to wait in line, and the charging process is super seamless. Just pull up, plug in, and the car immediately starts charging. No swiping a credit card, no pressing buttons. It automatically bills to the credit card on file in my Tesla account. And most of the time I can walk to a nearby facility to grab a bite to eat or stretch and use the restroom. And by the time I get back, the car is finished charging. A large fast charging network is quite possibly the most important feature for an electric vehicle because charging is the number one concern for potential EV buyers. Now, people want to know that they can travel anywhere without worrying about where to charge or how long to charge. In an ideal world, fast EV chargers would be as ubiquitous as gas stations, but we're still a long way from that, unfortunately. So Tesla did the bold but correct move by building out a huge supercharger network, but now it's changing. First, Tesla is selling a lot of vehicles right now, and their main goal is to keep selling as many vehicles as possible quarter after quarter. So the more Tesla vehicles they sell, the more there are on the road and the busier the superchargers will be, which brings the risk of people waiting in line to charge, which is not fun. Now, this is already happening in popular areas during holidays. Luckily, I've never experienced this. In fact, during the majority of my supercharger stops, the stalls are mostly empty. And that's partly because of where I'm located and where I travel, but also because currently superchargers are only for Tesla vehicles. A non-Tesla cannot charge at a supercharger. Until now, that is. Before we continue, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Manscaped, the best brand for men's grooming and hygiene. 
After launching their Lawnmower 4.0 electric trimmer, Manscaped now offers their new Performance Package 4.0 bundle, which is an all-in-one kit that includes the best tools for a simple, effective regimen. The new Lawnmower 4.0 cordless trimmer is waterproof, which makes it easy to quickly groom in the shower, and it keeps you safe with replaceable ceramic blades featuring skin safe technology and a built in LED light. It even has a new wireless charging system and travel lock feature. The Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant is a quick absorbing, clear drying moisturizer lotion for all day protection, and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray features cooling aloe vera and anti inflammatory properties. The new Performance Package 4.0 also includes their new Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer because none of us are getting any younger. The full Performance Package 4.0 kit gives you the best bang for your buck, and you can even enroll in their Peak Hygiene Plan to get ongoing replenishments delivered straight to your door. For a limited time, you can also get two free Manscaped gifts, their Shed Travel Bag and Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping and two free gifts when you use promo code ANDYSLY at checkout. According to Elon Musk, later this year, Tesla will open up its supercharger network to other electric vehicles for the first time ever. This has been rumored for a while, but it's the first time that Elon has publicly confirmed it will happen as soon as this year. So why would Tesla do this? Well, as much as we sometimes forget, their mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy and making their 25,000 plus superchargers accessible to all EVs is one way to do that. Another reason is probably money. With the new US electrification infrastructure deal, Tesla may need to open up their superchargers to all vehicles in order to be eligible for some government subsidies. Also, if Tesla decides to charge a higher rate for non-Tesla EVs to charge at superchargers, it may increase revenue and speed up the installs of future supercharger stations, which would mean more EV chargers in quicker time, benefiting all drivers. However, the big dilemma is how will Tesla answer the charging adapter problem? According to Elon, when Tesla first came out with their superchargers, they introduced their own proprietary charging connector for North America because there was no other solution for fast charging other than Chatamo, which was bulky in its first version only supported 62.5 kilowatts, while Tesla quite quickly moved to 120 kilowatts and higher. Now, meanwhile, the rest of the world has pretty much decided on CCS as the standard EV charger type. So now we have this fragmented charging problem for electric vehicles, and it's sort of like Apple's Lightning Connector versus USB-C. Sure, Apple Lightning has its perks, but it would be most beneficial for consumers as a whole if we all use the same charging standard for our phones, and the same principle applies to vehicles. A Tesla's charger type is fantastic. It's slim, it's simple, and it works for both low and high power charging, so the same connector is used at home on a normal outlet and at superchargers that deliver 250 kilowatts of power. So all Tesla superchargers in North America use the proprietary Tesla connector, but Tesla was forced to make their superchargers compatible with CCS in Europe. So will they do the same here in the US? I doubt Tesla decides to retrofit all of the superchargers for this. I think the best way would be for Tesla to offer a CCS to Tesla adapter that non-Tesla owners can purchase if they want to use Tesla superchargers and they can just keep the adapter in their car, which seems like a good compromise in order to unlock thousands of more chargers than before. But if Tesla does that, then that means non-Tesla vehicles can charge at superchargers while Tesla vehicles cannot charge at CCS chargers, which is a bit unfair. Now, the solution would be for Tesla to also offer a Tesla to CCS adapter for Tesla owners so they can utilize all CCS DC fast chargers such as Electrify America. And how will Tesla decide to charge non-Teslas for the electricity used at superchargers? Will it be the same rate or will it cost more? How will they pay for the charging? Will they be required to use the Tesla app? Another thing to keep in mind is that not all EVs are created equal in terms of charging rates. For example, the Chevy Bolt can only charge up to 55 kilowatts, so it would take it much longer to charge compared to a Tesla Model 3 that can charge up to 250 kilowatts. Now, I'm all for widespread EV adoption, but if I pull up to a full supercharger station and I see a bunch of slower charging EVs taking up all the spots, I won't be too thrilled. And there lies the problem. Many Tesla owners, including myself, chose Tesla for their superior dedicated fast charging network. And now they're giving it to people who did not by a Tesla. On the other hand, if you take a more positive look, the non-Tesla owners who charge at superchargers may realize how much more convenient it would be to have a Tesla, which may lead to more interested Tesla buyers in the long run. 
Now, I wish there wasn't such a disconnect in the EV charging standards because in a perfect world, there would be one fast charging standard connector that all manufacturers were willing to use so all electric vehicles could benefit from all public charging stations. But unfortunately, that's not the case in the US right now. And as much as I prefer and like the Tesla connector for how well designed it is, it probably won't overtake CCS anytime soon. So either we'll have to accept a life of carrying adapters in our cars, or Tesla will have to give in and start implementing CCS charging in the US. Either way, it looks like some Tesla superchargers will be looking different soon. It'll be interesting to see if non-Tesla vehicles impact the congestion and wait times at Tesla superchargers, or if this will lead to more superchargers sooner than we expected. What do you think of this news? Are you for everyone using superchargers, or do you think it will negatively impact the supercharger experience? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Andy. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Tesla and tech videos in the future. I'll talk to you in the next one.